Welcome to Black Onyx Alternative Investments, where we bring you face to face with South Africa's most talented boutique asset managers and industry stakeholders. Why do we do this? Because we believe that you, the investor, deserve to be better informed so as to achieve the best risk adjusted returns. I'm chatting with Alistair Selleck from Cadiz Asset Management. He runs the Cadiz Southeaster Fixed Income Qualified Investor Hedge Fund. It was established in 2005. Alistair, thanks for taking some time away from the desk. We look forward to learning about you and your firm. To start us off, tell us a bit about yourself and how you got into alternative investments. Sure. Well, I started uh, with an actuarial bursary from Sunlum uh, at UCT. And after working my way into the investment division of Sunlum, I found myself in the risk management division responsible for the Sunlum derivative risk management system and value at risk and then eventually got my first break co-managing the Sunlum annuity portfolio which was a nine billion rand fund back in the day which was quite sizable for the time and um, learned a lot in those two and a half years it was about 15 billion rand when I left uh, the big exposure there an annuity fund has 100 year liabilities and your assets we the long bond was a 26 year bond so we had to hedge out the liabilities using 30-year swaps and forward starting swaps. So that was a very good learning curve. From there, I went to future growth. Um, learned a lot also managing an annuity fund there, a smaller fund, the Momentum Annuity Fund. And th they have a strong credit focus. So I learned a lot about um, looking at the credit market in a slightly different way. Um, and also, getting involved in the corporate bond market, um, learning how to move bonds in a, a more liquid market. So that was a good learning curve. And then from there, I um, moved to Decillion Fund Management and we set up the first publicly available fixed interest hedge fund. Um, and that was a fantastic experience. We thought we knew the bond market, but we learnt a lot more than than we had anticipated uh, setting up the, that fund. Um, and ran that fund for three years, and then it was sold to Coronation. Um, and at that point, I had an opportunity to um, be bought out of my contract and, and set up my own hedge fund. So um, joining with PSG, they backed me. We set up a company called Southeast Fund Management within PSG. And um, yeah, it's crazy looking back. I'd never do it again, but with 21 million rand, we, we started the Southeast uh, um, Fixed Interest Fund. So that was 12 years ago and um, had a tough year and a half and then got some traction, attracted some assets and we grew that fund to, to 440 million at its peak. So it, it, was, a, it was quite a big player in, in its day. And then through various iterations at PSG, um, we moved into PSG Asset Management. I was the head of fixed interest there. We had a very successful year um, setting up a fixed interest process and running the hedge fund as one of the products, um, which was actually a very good um, experience for, for what I'm doing now. And then um, when PSG Consult was busy um, preparing for the listing, um, we were given an opportunity to do a management buyout, at which point um, we took Southeast to Fund Management private and did that for three years. And then we were approached in 2015 by Cadiz. They were looking for a team, a fixed interest team. They'd lost one and we were skeptical initially, but the more we talked, um, the more it seemed to make sense. So did a deal and that was just over two years ago. So um, that brings me, brings me here. Alistair, tell us about Cadiz Asset Management, its history and some of the strategies. Sure. Uh, Cadiz Asset Management was uh, formed when African Harvest Asset Management was sold to Cadiz. Uh, I only got involved, as I said, in 2015. Um, but it, yeah, it was a, a boutique asset manager, um, grew to, to uh, assets in the region of the, the 50 billion mark. Um, but then unfortunately was caught in the African bank uh, default in 2014 and, and lost assets and, and staff as a result. So when I joined, um, our new CEO had just been appointed, Sean Stockicht. Um, 
and essentially they had lost a fixed interest team. We're looking to to bolster the fixed interest side, um, and yeah, the three of us joined from Southeast Fund Management, and we we bolsters the bolstered the remaining individuals on on the fixed interest team, um, and we've s since formed a very um, coherent. Um, functional unit of, of motivated interest rate professionals who now look at the fixed interest assets of, of the firm. Um, at the same time, the, the then CIO um, decided to, to move on. So there were various promotions internally um, and we essentially have, have a new equity team through elevating some of the, the analysts internally. Um, and a multi-asset team. So Katie's is, is one of the few full um, suite asset managers um, with an, a fixed interest division, an equity division, and a multi-asset division. We have quite a strong retail brand. Um, the Katie's brand was very well known nationally and still is to an extent, and um, that continues to be serviced by the retail um, division. So. Yeah, on, on the whole, we've we've been in rebuilding phase. On the fixed interest side, we have a full suite. Um, we have a money market fund um, in excess of a billion. We have a, a an income fund. Then we have some passive bond index tracker funds. Then your bond all be mandates um, for pension funds and rounded off by the, the fixed interest hedge fund. So it's a full suite of, of fixed interest products and we were able to develop our process, sort of amalgamating the, the process that we ran at Southeast of Fund Management. With There were a lot of similarities with the, the KD's fixed interest team and how they looked at, at the bond market. Um, and then we just apply the various risk and mandate restrictions of the various products. Um, so we look at the same things, it's just what you then do with them in the money market fund versus a fixed interest hedge fund. So it's how one differentiates according to risk and mandate.